And I heard the alarm go off in the apartment, and usually that means somebody burned a bagel or something, so I didn't pay attention to it. But then after a few minutes, I stuck my nose out, I could smell smoke. Alarms blaring, smoke billowing, and water pouring in through the ceilings. That's how people who live at the Roosevelt High Rise building downtown described a fire that killed one resident and sent everyone out into the cold. Many of those people are now sleeping at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Megan Schiller checked in on them today. We are right across the street from Heinz Hall here at Six and Penn, and now the only people going into this apartment building are restoration workers trying to get a handle on all of the smoke, fire, and water damage. More than 100 people walking into the convention center Monday with nothing but the clothes on their backs. People are here getting food, have a place to stay, warm place. It's, it's cold outside, so um, it's great that they're having a place to kind of rest, recoup, and um, we're working on next steps. That's the latest from the Red Cross late Monday after this fire broke out late Sunday at the Roosevelt Building downtown. Residents described it like this. You could see flames coming out of the building, smoke coming out of the building. And so well, it wasn't just a burnt bagel. We come out through there and the water was coming in so bad that in my bathroom, I'm slipping and sliding trying to get my toothbrush and toothpaste. <laughs> there were flames coming out of the whole floor. Big flames. It wasn't a little fire, it was a flames. One woman lost her life in the ordeal and firefighters found her in the stairwell. Paramedics rushed another person to the hospital in critical condition, and two first responders got hurt. So far, no word on the cause of the fire or a return date. We're all kind of working together to get answers and get more information to these people. They're um, obviously in a, a tough situation, so we want to give them as much comfort and, and care as we can. I asked, and I'm told the best way in order to help these people right now is a donation directly to the Red Cross. They say that's the best way in order to get them what they need. Right now, they have a warm place to sleep and food inside the convention center. Reporting downtown tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.